Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day again everyone Today we will have a continuation of our discussion regarding radicals to rational exponents So, um, before we proceed, I'm just going to remind you about the structure of the um, radicals to rational exponent Being, if I have a raised to m And the nth root of that, so the nth root of a raised to m That would be equals to a raised to m over n being the exponent will always be on the numerator part and the index would be always on the rad, um, denominator part okay so that would be it the uh, standard look whatever would be given you just simply have to assume the other so for example if i give you this rational exponent you give me the radicals or if i give you the radicals you give me the rational exponent and it will not simply just fall upon this some um, concepts um, you must also be very knowledgeable when it comes to lo the loss of exponents. Okay, so yeah. So, first example. Say we have our, um, the square root of 2. Okay? Basically, the square root of 2 will have a default, um, exponent of 1 if it's not written. And the uh, square root of, uh, this one, of this given, by default may 2. Okay, so again, by default, any number or any variable will have an exponent of 1. And by default, any roots with no written um, index is by default 2. Okay, so in this case, if you, if you know this is 1 and 2, so we'll have 2 raised to our exponent would be on the numerator. And our denominator would give us our index. So 2 raised to 1 half. Okay, so thank you. Um, let's proceed to the next. Say I have to, um, the fourth root of 2 the fourth root of 2 raised to 5. So in this case, you might wonder, sir, where is our exponent there? Wala namang katabing exponent si 2, right? So again, by default, it's 1. So in this given, let's try to evaluate first the number inside, okay? Or the term inside. So this will be 2 raised to 1 fourth, right? And of course, whatever we did not touch, do not remove. So we will still have that 5 outside. And again, um, this would be very easy for you if you know or have a, a little mastery when it comes to the loss of exponent. Power of a power means I will multiply the exponent 2 raised to 5 over 4. Okay? So let's have another example. Um, say we have the cube root of 2. So again, 2, the base, exponent by default is 1, numerator, index, it's 3, so we have 2 raised to 1 third. Um, another, um, say we have multiple terms inside. Um, say that we have the cube root of 6x um, squared. Um, maybe let's, let's make it 36x uh, squared. Yeah. So if you may ask, uh, ano in, what is the exponent on this one? The exponent on this one would be, of course, um, not visible agad. Bakit? Kasi the exponent of x squared is 2, but there is no exponent for 36, right? But then again, we can rewrite this one. We can have equi the uh, equivalence, or equivalent of 36 is equals to 6 squared. Okay, so we can rewrite this one as the cube root of 6 squared and x squared. So if we have this given, we, we, we can now reverse the, uh, the one of the laws of exponent being the power of a product. The power of a product states that if I have a b square n raised to n, then we will have a raised to n, b raised to n. We can reverse that. If they have the same exponent, we can take out the same exponent. So in this case, we can rewrite our given as the cube root of 6x squared, right? And if we have the cube root of 6x squared, we can now have our exponent and index, and we will have our 6x raised to 2 thirds, right? Okay. So this would be our rational exponent form. So let's have another example. Um, it would be very repetitive, but in any case, again, let's say we have 6p raised to 5, okay? 6p, parenthesis, 1 fifth. If you would notice, guys, this would be the entire a. Entire a in what sense? Ito, in this case, Yung entire a natin would have a, the common exponent, okay? In this case, um, the common exponent of this one would be 1, right? It's 1 and 1, and cannot be um, 
transformed into any other equivalent values. 6p is still 6p. Okay, so they would both have 1, so therefore the numerator is 1, denominator would be 5. Okay, so basically, guys, any given that you will see in radical form could be transformed into a rational exponent. Firstly, if you can convert um, as similar exponents, similar exponents, okay, similar exponents, or um, what else? Um, let, let's establish some tips. Convert a similar exponents and um, you can apply the loss of exponents. Okay? Loss of exponents. Okay? So that would be it. Um, I hope that you got our lesson for today. Um, thank you for listening. If you have any other question, you can view the video again or any other videos that I have posted in your course to help you guide with other things here. Okay? Um, that would be all. Thank you for listening and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you po.